We'll create a robot that will trade based on data from the RSI indicator. The robot will search for moments when the RSI is in the overbought or oversold area during the last three candles, and the last value of this indicator has started moving backwards. To create the robot, click Create New Robot. Enter a name for the robot and click Create. There are already two starting blocks here, on candle and on tick. We need the on candle block, since the robot will be using candles for generating signals and opening trades. Candles are received for all time periods, so you have to filter out the candles for just the period you need. Use the Filter Candle block to do this. It is located under Strategies, Standard Blocks, and it's called Candlestick Filter. Add it to the designer and set a connection between the blocks. In the settings, set the period to 1 minute and make this parameter global. Then add the RSI block and set a connection between the blocks. In the parameters for the RSI indicator, leave the default value set to 12 and make this parameter global as well. Next, use the Transform block to get the last three RSI values, which we need in order to set the conditions for generating signals for trading. Set a connection between the blocks. In the parameters, specify which indicator values you need and separate them with commas, first, second and third. Then, add two const blocks that you will use for setting the overbought and oversold levels for the RSI indicator. The data type for these parameters will be real number and the values will be 70 and 30, respectively. Make these parameters global. Now, in order to check the conditions for generating signals, you need to add three IF blocks for each signal. You will use them to check where the indicator line was during the last three candles, above or below the overbought or oversold levels. Add one more IF block in order to check whether the direction of the indicator line changed. We are adding a total of seven IF blocks. In order to check two input values in an IF block, you need to add a second entry connector. Now we can check whether the indicator line was above the overbought level. We'll check the last, next to last and the third value of the indicator. Then, we'll check whether the direction of the indicator's movement has changed. And we'll check whether the indicator line is below the oversold level. Now, we need to make sure that all the conditions were met. Use the Data Validation block for this. In the block parameters, enter the value 4. This means that we will check four conditions and set the corresponding connections from IF blocks. The last three RSI values were above the overbought level and the current value is less than the previous one. The same applies to the second signal. The current value must become greater than the previous one, and the three last ones must be less than the oversold level. Now, let's make it possible to set the expiration time manually and change this parameter externally. To do this, add another constant block, where we can set the corresponding expiration index. In the parameters, select the integer data type, set the value to 1 and make this parameter global. 
Use the Create Signal blocks to generate higher and lower signals. Create connections between the ISET and Create Signal blocks. For the first block, the signal is put. For the second one, the signal is call. In the expiration time parameter, make the Add Input Connector button active. After this, the block gets another input connector, which you give the value from the constant block that corresponds to the expiration time. Combine the signals in a single branch using the union block called Data Integration. It outputs what it received on at least one of the connectors. If data was received by both input connectors simultaneously, the first one is used. Since we decided to use the Martingale strategy, add this block, which is located under Strategies, Standard Blocks. Establish the connection and set the value to 10 in the block parameters. This parameter sets how much the profit from the last trade will cover previous losses. Add another block that will let the robot open a trade only when the profit percentage for an asset is greater than a specific value, such as 80%. This block is located under Strategies, Filters, and is called Minimum Profit Percentage. And the last step for creating the robot is adding a block that will open a trade. It is located under Tools, Trading, and is called Open a Position. Now. Save the robot by clicking Save in the upper left corner. The next step is to test the robot on different currency pairs with different parameters. Choose the most optimal and profitable variation and launch it.